I am heading to the uh, another hospital here in Bangkok to do a cadaver lab with some of the residents. Um, I just got off the uh, train and I'm walking trying to find the uh, hospital. Uh, different part of town. It looks very different from where I have been for the last uh, few weeks. So some people are asking me why I am here in Bangkok and how did I get over here. Uh, part of our training as orthopedic surgeons is uh, that allows us to go to international places and hospitals to uh, train. Um, I applied for a fellowship position, which means it's a one month trauma fellowship. Um, you can put uh, different choices down that you want to go to. And my top choice was Bangkok, Thailand. I've never been here before. So, um, and I've been here for a month, nearing the uh, end of my rotation. And then I'll go back to the US and uh, finish up my some training there as well. So I just got to the uh, hospital, about to uh, try to find the building that the cadaver lab is gonna be at. So that's gonna be interesting for me to find my way around this place. I just asked one of the people who work here where this building is that I need to uh, go to. They pointed me in this direction. I see other people walking this way, so I don't know. Well, you will see if it's the right way. So all this is the hospital? Uh, yes, it's the whole hospital. Whoa, it's, it's really nice. Yes. Uh, yeah. it's a, around here is the old, old building. Oh, okay. okay. And this is new one. It's really nice. And which, which floor has this one? Uh, I think fifth floor. Fifth? Fifth floor? Fifth floor. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna, the, the dermato surgery? Yeah, surgery. Okay. We're going to work with cadavers today. For Mr. Lee, right? Huh? The building is. Yeah. You go straight and uh -huh. right this building. Okay, awesome. Thank you, man. So I found someone who told me where to go. Should be almost there to the uh, building where the cadaver lab is going to be held at. I'm looking for a cadaver lab with orthopedic surgery. Oh, it's not. It's, uh, orthopedic surgery. It's not. It's a general surgery. So I thought I was on the right track. Got turned around just a bit. Got pointed in the right direction though. We're, we're heading there. I'm only three hours late. The train took a lot longer than I expected. But uh, here we go. Hopefully this is it. <laughs> That was close. Just got sucked in that freaking elevator. Just got my uh, scrubs on at the uh, cadaver lab here. These scrubs are so small. Like I'm afraid that if I keep these on for too long, I think I'm gonna pass out. I had a hard time getting the pants on. I'm 6'4", weigh 230 pounds. 
this is a, probably like a large or a medium. Oh. But it'll work for now. Just got dressed. Those uh, pink scrubs were just too tight. I had to take them off and uh, put my street clothes back on. I couldn't wear those tight scrubs. So we just left lecture. One of the uh, trauma surgeons gave a lecture basically about how to fix acetabular fractures and then we're going to go to the we here in the lab to um, uh, do some surgical approaches. So we received a lecture first by the surgeon. Uh, kind of some uh, tips and tricks as well as the anatomy and what we need to know for surgery and about to uh, start working on the uh, cadavers here soon. So we are learning um, posterior approaches and uh, to the hip, to the acetabulum specifically. I learned how to uh, fix acetabular fractures is basically your hip joint when there's a uh, fracture. Usually uh, car accidents when patients come in and their hip is dislocated they break that portion of their uh, socket and basically we're here in the lab um, practicing different techniques, surgical techniques and approaches to uh, fix that portion of the um, hip joint. So this is just a uh, model of the uh, pelvis here. Um, Kind of give you a demonstration of what we're trying to achieve here in the lab. Uh, usually when a patient comes in, usually after a car accident or a uh, high energy uh, mechanism, they can fracture their pelvis, uh, specifically their acetabulum. These lines here represent uh, makeshift uh, fracture lines. And say for instance, the patient had a fracture of uh, this portion of their uh, socket, we basically use a plate, kind of metal, a similar plate to this, but a smaller one. And we would uh, put this metal plate, kind of form it to uh, fit around the uh, rim of the acetabulum. Uh, that's basically how we uh, fix uh, that particular fracture. They can have fractures anywhere in their pelvis. This we can have a fracture here, fracture here, and wherever that fracture is, we put a uh, plate with some screws to. Uh, to fix that fracture using something here and a number of different instruments to uh, fix the fracture. Alright, we just left the uh, cadaver lab, came down the uh, street to a uh, market here. It's kind of like a mall, big mall that has a lot of um, eating restaurants. Uh, the lab went well. We learned, I learned a lot of new techniques and um, yeah, I had a lot of fun. So the rest of the evening just hanging out, exploring, and then I head back to the U.S. tomorrow. Really nice cars inside this mall. Uh, really expensive too, but uh, this is pretty cool to check out some of these nice cars. Alright, that concludes my day. Had a lot of fun today, uh, kind of exploring the city as well as going to, to the cadaver lab with the uh, residents. Uh, my last day in Thailand is tomorrow. Thank you guys for following me along on this journey. It's been a fun month. Make sure you subscribe. I'll be posting new videos. Got a lot of new uh, stuff for you guys I'm putting out over the next couple of weeks. So uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time.